All right. So this is gonna be um, a video where I do one of these like kind of review things. Now I have a couple things. I'm not just gonna do a review. I'm also gonna do something um, that I just don't think could fit into one video though. So basically, let's first talk about what is going on with my life and why I'm not uploading as consistently as I would be regularly. Okay, so as you can tell, um, this is actually my office now. I edit in here, I do stuff in here, I can make flies in here. I Since school is coming up, I'm gonna do school in here. So let me give you a little bit of a tour around. Okay, so you come in here, the light switch is right here. Turn that on. This is where we come in. It's a pretty small room, but I like it. It's kind of like just a little cozy place. Here, I just keep stuff. This is some fishing line that I kind of repair. There's some stuff there. Um, here is my camera and stuff. And actually, I have my camera holder right here that um, you guys were just on right there. And I put that just right there. So that's kind of my YouTube area. This is my desk right here. Um, I actually stained this myself. Um, this is where I keep all my fly stuff. Um, there's some books right there. Um, there's also a nice shelf up here that is nice. Um, um, basically, yeah, so that's just a shelf. My desk is there, my chargers, and um, just there's like a foot massager there. That's nice. There's a little like beam back here that I can sit on. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not really a big place. I like it though. It's kind of cozy. I got some nice stuff in here. But anyways, so that's where I'm kind of doing everything here. Um, this is going to be where I'm making videos. I mean, my intros and outros, um, and this is, this is kind of like a place, you know? All right, but guys, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading because I actually have been making a few videos on this phone right here, which is my phone, but the problem is, um, it's been through a lot, so the back camera doesn't work, which is fine because I can just still record with the front camera, the front camera works and it's great quality. That's actually what I recorded my last video on, but the problem with this phone is that the audio is really bad so actually I made a um, I made a video and let me just show you what it would have sounded like I was just about to upload it but I was like no it's not gonna be worth it um, I don't want to like put you guys through torture this is what a uh, this is what it would have sounded like all right guys so today we're doing something a little bit different that I actually to slant your red sideways well, basically if you guys couldn't tell there the audio was kind of on and off now i didn't like that so i'm recording with a different thing right here i'm 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 this is not my phone what i'm recording with so i'm not obviously going to be able to do this every time um but this is what we got for now but so basically also i think i'm going to come up with a routine for start um um, putting out videos so it's going to be more predictable and I'm going to stick with this routine as much as I can if not I'm going to do more than that so school is coming up and I have a very tight schedule pretty much my only free day is Saturday because I have stuff to do on Sunday so basically I'm going to upload weekly um at at a day so basically I'm thinking okay so I'm going to be I was thinking I can upload every Friday so basically that's going to be my upload time every week um if not if i have an extra time and extra space i can upload maybe two times a week well, that's not going to be very often because i just don't have that time like i do now so just wanted to let you guys know on that so basically um i got so this camera right here it's really nice the only problem is that i need to to get some way to um put the footage from the camera onto a computer so I can edit or on my phone. So I need to get that and kind of order it um, because this is really nice. It has like night vision and like I can, yeah, it's just, it's a nice camera. But anyways, other than that, I also have some like kind of like kids GoPros, but those don't have the best quality of sound. So I don't know if I'm going to be using those, but I might just have to. But yeah, guys, I'm just trying to do everything. So there's the better content for you. Um, so I think I'd rather put out less videos that are better quality than more videos and they're kind of not really cared about. So, I mean, let me know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think this is a good idea? Do you think I'm not uploading enough? Um, do you think it's a good plan? But anyways, let's get into the pretty much main topic of today's video. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to tie a fly, which is, um, so I just got this nice tie flying set right here. As you guys can see, I've already tied a few flies. 
Um, so I got my advice here. Thanks to my grandpa for supplying all this to me. It really means a lot to me. Thank you and shout out to you if you were watching this. So let's go ahead and let's start and let's show you guys how to tie a fly. All right, guys. So first, what you're going to need is I have a long streamer hook right here that I'm going to use. So I'm going to put this into my vise. This is called, so I am basing this off a Bass Bunny, and I'm going to give this credit to Hooked for Life on YouTube. Um, I am basing this off. I'm not doing everything that he's using, but I am certainly basing it off. So again, when you're tying flies, it's about creativity. You don't need to have the exact same um, technique and um, pattern as the people, but you can base it off, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So what I'm going to be using is some of this golden, I actually don't know what it's called, but it's like the stuff they use on like the woolly bugger right there. So I'm going to be using some of this. I'm going to be using yellow um, thread right here, some red bucktail, and some white bucktail. Alright, so once you have your yellow thread rigged up, you are going to want to start at the eye of the hook. And... Tilting your um, access line backwards like this and wrapping around it will lock the access line in place. And basically that means you will not need to worry about this being loose. Now it is locked in place and you will not, and now you can just cut this access off. Just like that. And now continue doing a light wrap throughout until until about pretty much right there. Until you've wrapped down to right where the point of the hook right above it. Now you are going to want to put your golden stuff. Um, again, I don't really know what it's called. Um, like pretty much just like this and then locking it in place you're going to want to wrap your thread right around it just like that and then you don't need this anymore this access so you can just trim that off and now you can just start wrapping this around your hook right until a little bit before the eye of the hook just like that and then do a very light wrap around with your thread in between the wraps of your golden stuff here. Just like so. And now when you're done, you can snip off your access just like that. And your hook is now covered with this. Now you want to snip off some of your white bucktail, a good amount, just like that. And you're going to want to kind of rub this just to make it a little bit even. And now place the front side, which you snipped off, right here and wrap your thread around the front locking this in once again make sure it is at the top give it i'd say a little bit more wraps this time because you really want this this is an important piece wrap it all the way to the eye of the hook you can simply cut off this right there and I'm going to take about one half as much as the red bucktail that I did with my white and put some of that on there. And once again, wrap around, locking it on top. Really snip off. And when you are done, you can just list.
um, snip bar, you can glue, you can just tie a knot. I'm just going to tie a knot. Just, I think it's easier, and I, I don't have any problems with it holding. Streamer that has some flash, has some color. I think it is a perfect fly imitation. It has flash when you move it. And it has some red, which attracts, and the white, which is just a natural color. I think that is a pretty good job. There it is in a better angle. All right, guys, and that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I did making it, because I had a lot of fun making it. It's kind of like a you know a little bit of a chill session. It's um you know kind of, <coughs> kind of relaxing just to hang out with you guys. Tell me what's going on with your life. This is what's going on with my life. Tell me what you've been doing over this quarantine time. I'd love to hear. I'd respond to you. And don't forget to share with all your friends so everyone can see this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Tight lines.